mechanical advantage kettlebell cleans. So grab and hold of two kettlebells between the legs with your thumbs facing in towards the center line. From there, you're gonna power up through your hips, push to stand up and rack those kettlebells off in a front rank position with the thumbs on the chest, keeping the kettlebells tight to the body throughout. Keep your rib cage stacked on top of your pelvis as you perform these exercises as well. From there, you're gonna to go to alternating clean. So one's in a front rack position, whilst the other one's down to the bottom. And then as you power up, you change to the opposite side. So the other side's in the front rack position. From there, you pop the kettlebells down, grab hold of it in one hand, thumb in towards the center line, and then power up through the hips, keeping that kettlebell tight to the body, turning to get the thumb in towards the chest as you come through from there. If it's hitting your wrist, you need to pull that kettlebell tighter in towards the body line. Perform repetitions on one side and then change and perform them on the opposite side. Make sure the weight is evenly distributed between the legs throughout and the rib cage is stacked on top of the pelvis and the pelvis doesn't rotate side to side best you can. From there, you're gonna do a single kettlebell clean. So you're gonna hold onto that kettlebell at the top and then as you power the hips up, you're gonna grab hold of the kettlebell on the sides into like a goblet grip position and then from there sink descend into your squat sitting your torso between your knees again try and avoid that pelvis moving side to side and then lastly you're just going to clean that weight up so grab hold of it in a sumo kettlebell deadlift position power it up using the hips and then grab hold of the kettlebell at the side in the goblet grip without the squat